Alright guys, we are back. Logic Gaming today. We're going to be doing something a little bit different. We're going to be doing um, the base camp, boot camp type deal for the game called Squad. It's a first person military uh, game. I live stream this from time to time. Uh, I've seen this pop up and figured we'll give this a shot and uh, show you guys what it's all about and go through it. And you guys can see how bad I am at this. Nice little base camp. Uh, Pre-deployment training base camp obstacle course. God damn, they are being fucking mean today. Let's see what you're made of. Get your ass to this obstacle course. Uh, okay, we got a little bit of an obstacle course. Pick up the pace. Get over to that next obstacle. Double time. Oh, crap. Well, now we got through. Okay. Over the obstacle. Jump up to reach the top and pull yourself over. Alright, there we go. Looks like you need some help, so why don't you ask your fellow knucklehead over there to help you over this wall. Come on, Officer Knucklehead, you gonna help me out here or no? Jesus. Balance yourself on those beams and get to the other side. If you fall, you gotta start again. I've never been good with walking these uh, beams here. Ooh, this is a live fire? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Keep your head down and keep moving. How are you going to react when you're in this situation for real? Keep moving. God damn. I am a non-combatant. All right, cool. We're a medic. <laughs> Welcome to my main base. There's a number of things you can do here, from weapons familiarization to learning about how you can communicate with your squad. Go around and take a look, and when you're done, head to the motor pool at the end of the base. Weapons, uh, communications, troop and vehicle identification. Okay, what is over here? Well, let's go do this weapons first. This is an example of some of the ways you can be deployed in the field. The rally point is only for you and your squad, while the big bunker-looking structure is a hab. Habs are meant for your entire team and are found only on forward operating bases or FOBs. In both circumstances, you will need to rearm your weapons from any nearby sources before moving out. Danger live fire. Oh, weapons are over there. Let's, well, let's hit all this up. Let's hit communications. Listen up. Communication is critical to surviving in a battlefield. Local comms allow you to talk with friendlies within a radius around you. They are useful for on-the-fly comms. Inner vehicle comms and generally just getting the attention of the man next to you. Also, you're issued a squad radio, which you can use to talk with your entire squad no matter where they are on the field. This right here is the tactical map where you can see all your friendly positions, 
orders from squad leaders, and the map is divided up into grids. Each grid is designated by a letter and a number. If you want to be more specific, each grid is further divided into sectors as laid out on a number pad on a standard keyboard. Okay, that makes it a little easier to understand. Vehicle identifications. Here we go. Alright, if you look over here, this little diorama represents the armor distribution on M1A2 main battle tank. In order for an anti-tank weapon to deal any damage, it needs to be able to penetrate the armor. No penetration, no fun. All vehicles have various components that can take damage, the most common being the engine. There are other parts like wheels, tracks, turrets, and even ammunition storage that can take damage and affect the vehicle in different ways. Okay, we don't care about that. Let's go shoot some shit. This is your standard issue rifle. It may come in different forms and attachment configurations, but it does what any good infantry weapon does best. Suppress and kill the enemy. All rifle and support roles carry this as their primary weapon. The best way for you to shoot is in single shots. Take a moment between each shot and make sure you're still on target. Oh, this is fun. Oh, here we go. We might have to see when we get in as some marksman units, guys. This will be a lot better for me. Oh, we also have a bipod for this thing? Chrome Dome. I can do a whole lot with that. Anti-tank rolls are issued with rocket launchers. Oh, here we go. Depending on their yield, can damage and destroy enemy vehicles. The rockets need a bit of distance to arm, so avoid firing these at close range. The launcher also fires a deadly back blast, so make sure your rear is clear before firing. That was not a good fucking idea. <clears throat> Alright, we did all that. Let's go to this kit roll. Now, 
Alright, set up with that soldier. Get that truck started and drive it up the road to the fob. Let's mm -hmm. go. All right, so now we're going to help out our brothers. They need some supplies and we are going to deliver. <sighs> nice little training facility though, kind of way out in the middle of nowhere. Excuse me, bitches. I guess we're building. All right, nobody, nobody else gonna help me here. All right, fuck you guys. All right, good work there, warrior. Hopefully, this will hold up better than that last one. Woo! We set up a mock scenario where you will need to execute the technique. Fire maneuver to advance on the enemy. Suppress the enemy machine gun positions and use the lull in their fire to advance. Fuck, where are they shooting me from? I think that's all of them. Fuck. I don't have freaking time to sit here and remind you. Keep it up. Remember, fire and maneuver. Fire and maneuver. Get some lead down range and give them a... Once you get closer to the target building, you'll see another squad dressed up as the enemy. They will open fire if they see you. So make sure you take them down before they smoke your ass. Ooh. I don't see the other enemies though. Where in the fuck are they at? Okay, they're up top. Oh, I knew that he had to fucking hit you. Woo, he looked at me. Don't worry, I'm just gonna solo this. I don't need the rest of my team. All right, get to that freaking door. If you got a grenade, it would behoove you to use it now. Oh, grenade! Fuck. Holy crap, how do you manage to get your pants on in the morning? All right. I done fucked that up, A. A. Ron.
Do I have another one of those grenades? No, shit, I don't. Holy crap! God How do you damn it! Alright guys, if you'd like to show me some support, go ahead and give me a thumbs up, like the video, subscribe, join my Discord, and you guys can chat with me. If you guys want to see more gameplay of a specific thing, just let me know down in the comments below. Peace out, guys. I'm going to run. Uh, you're leaning to peek around corners and get targets without exposing yourself. Okay, well, do I have the assholes in here? No, I don't, but I do have them. Good. One of They're your fucking dead. Those infantry men is to take and hold ground. As you have just cleared the capture zone of all enemy forces, you can now capture the structure for your team. Clearing the objective. Yeah, I'm king, bitch. Hey guys, I'm all the way over here. You know, you can quit fucking hiding way over there. Woohoo, C4! I don't know how in the fuck I am supposed to... Oh, there it goes. You've taken down the enemy FOB, one of their primary means of reinforcement. There are alternative means of taking down enemy FOBs such as a shovel, but explosives tend to be the most effective. Thinking about boots like you in charge of C4s is what keeps me up at night, but you somehow managed not to blow yourself up. Well, that's good, I guess. This concludes your infantry pre-deployment training. There are still many aspects of the battlefield that only experience can teach you. So learn from your buddies and trust your squad leaders. If you need more practice on a particular weapon system or vehicle, the Jensen's range facility is available at any time. Good luck out there, soldier. Alright, we have completed the training, everybody. Alright, that was an inside look of the boot camp base training for the game squad.